Hello and welcome to our demonstration of the Pulverizator One Jaw Crusher. Today we want to show you how the instrument is operating to achieve the best results and how to handle the whole cleaning procedure. Before we start the instrument, we definitely can check the Pulverizator One Jaw Crusher. We have the collecting vessel for the grinded sample in here. We have a safety switch here and we cannot run the instrument without closing the safety switch. We have then here the adjustment for the gaps and we have also here the possibility to change the grinding geometry. To change the grinding geometry for special samples like coal or other fatty sticky samples, you have to remove this security stick and moving by hand inside into the right position. Now you can secure the position again in here. Please note that the standard grinding geometry is on the bottom. What is the difference between these two grinding geometries? You will see this in this animation. Of course, I would need some kind of a uh, safety equipment for this grinding. We recommend, of course, some safety glasses. Because, of course, sometimes it might happen that some fine dust will come out here. Any operation on the mill, cleaning or whatever, gloves are recommended. As a last aspect is, of course, the noise during the grinding, which is depending on the samples you are proceeding. So, it is necessary to use some kind of a ear protection. We always recommend to pre-grind the whole sample in the biggest or big gap and then do the final grinding with a lower step. We can start the mill and after three seconds we can put in the sample. Please make sure you never put the sample in without running the mill. Until you hear still some crashing noise or crashing sounds or grinding sounds, let the mill at least for three seconds run empty and then stop the mill. Otherwise you will risk that the position between the moving jaw and the fixed jaw will clamp some particles and you will not receive 100% of the sample. There is a possibility to screw up this plate behind that grinding chamber and you can adjust a vacuum cleaner in here. So any fine dust which is coming from the grinding process will be absorbed. Now we want to prepare the instrument for grinding. For this, we have to mount the fixed jaw into the instrument. And I will show you how to do that. If you get the instrument, it will be directly set it as you want it. We want to now move back the fixing tool of the moving jaw. To do so, I will remove this hole in the correct position. And fix it. Now we can move back the fixed jaw. To do so, we have 
to move the fixture between the sidewards walls. Again, we hold it with a thumb on top here and we fix it with a tool and we secure it. To remove the jaw, we set up the biggest gap. Now we open the secure door. You will secure this jaw because it's very heavy with your thumb. We fix it on again on top on here and remove it. You can find these th three screws also on the bottom, on the fixed jaw. And to remove the grinding jaw, you have to unscrew these three screws. For this, please remove the sample collector and if you push the grinding disc a little bit towards you, you can remove the grinding geometry holder and move the grinding disc by hand. Now you can reach the screws a little bit better from the bottom with a suitable tool. Please note after the job is done that you will position the holder in here correctly because as you hear from the sound this clicking noise removed the position of the holder in here. Now we want to grind some rock samples. We turn the machine on and wait for at least three seconds to hear the machine sound. Now we put in the sample. After the whole sample is fed into the machine, wait for another three seconds until you switch off the instrument. This helps to provide the rest of the sample into the sample collector. Now we can turn off this instrument. Let's take a look inside. This was our pre-grinding step, which we always recommend. Never grind a sample on the smallest gap if not necessary. So what we can do as next is a fine grinding with the smallest gap. Let's do that. Now we have our final result. This sample might contain some fine, very fine particles such as dust, other uh, containment of the sample will be irregular fractions, which might fall through the other dimension through the gap. After the procedure, we want to clean the instrument. So first of all, we move the jaw to the biggest gap, so it's easier to remove the grinding jaw. We remove the grinding jaw and we can clean the whole area with alcohol or with compressed air. Also using a vacuum cleaner on the whole area is possible. There might be some dead angles to get in there. So you can use the vacuum cleaner even from below of the instrument. It is also recommended to unscrew the funnel and clean the area as well. 
And the last area is behind the instrument where in one option, the vacuum cleaner is placed. But of course, if this plate is closed, you can remove the four screws on the back and clean this area as well. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day. For any further questions about the application, please don't hesitate to contact us.